Ladies and gentlemen, the next contest is fought under unified amateur rules for the golden ticket lightweight championship and is scheduled to be contested over five three-minute rounds. Sponsored by DK Sports Massage. Your referee in charge of the action is Mr. Harvey Hara. Introducing, first of all, standing to my left, fighting out of the blue corner and hailing from martial arts concepts at a weight of 70.2 kilograms. With a record of five victories and two defeats, your challenger this evening, Chiang Mardi! And standing across the cage, his opponent fighting out of the red corner, hailing from Team Renegade with a weight of 70.3 kilograms and a perfect record of eight victories and no defeat. He is your reigning, defending golden ticket lightweight champion, Shiang So we're off to the um, the last title fight of the night, amateur lightweight title. We've got the challenger in the blue corner, Czech Main, and the defending champion in the red corner. Blue corner, Shea. Mane, red corner, Ingram. Shea Ingram. And we're off. We are off. Hi. We've got Melissa Mullins back oh, on the commentary booth. And straight to the back. Yeah, straight to the back there for Main. Uh, we've seen a lot of this tonight. We've seen people not accept position. Let's see if Ingram can keep getting back to his feet and making uh, Main at least work for those takedowns. 100% he's doing this. He does this every Monday. <laughs> Two hours of it. <laughs> so for sure he's getting back to his feet every time. Yeah, he's breaking the grip there. He's wor he was working on breaking the grip. Yeah. And he's again back to his feet, like you've just said. It's a, it's a regular Monday morning. Uh -huh. um, but yeah, watching Shay, um, sorry, check previously fight, um, one of my ex teammates, like this guy is like a, a rabid piranha. Yeah, just keeps going and going and going. Uh -huh. And he's from a gym that will allow it as well. Like they both, they both train very intense in terms of repetition, repetition, repetition. Yeah, which is obviously what's going to get them better and, and, and better and better and better. What they say, fear the man who does one kick a thousand times and does a thousand kicks. <laughs> so he's got, uh, he's still, he's got control of the back a little bit there. See what he can do. He hasn't, he, he hasn't really been able to get control. Oh, look at that. What's he got in? Uh, he's managed to, has he got to get the hook in there? Look, he's got. He looks like, well, Ingram's now on top. Ingram's on okay, top. Ingram's on top. Popped his head out. So well done there to Ingram. And he's past the legs as well, so he's straight into side control, mm -hmm. up against the cage. But Czech keeps bringing his obviously his knee, his bottom uh, garden, his bottom leg to the guy. Now he's got a butterfly. Yeah. To keep him off balance and, and work for that sweep. Yeah, just need to find maybe that underhook, but he's using it as a frame at the moment. He's using his butterflies really well to elevate the straight shape. into mount now. Passed into mount. Let's see if he can land some heavy ground and pounds. This is where Shave might need to settle a little bit better posture. But it looks like Jeff doesn't have an answer. Oh, no, he's going to make he's a bit back. Up, he's giving up the back there. and he, he landed some really heavy strikes there, and he's obviously forced him to give up the back. Let's see if he can... Uh, he's, let, he's got one hook in. He's let the other one go. He obviously doesn't want to topple over the top. He could go for a quarter and a half, quarter, half Nelson here, using the right foot to like peel underneath the shin to pull check this way towards us. Um, but at the moment, it looks like check has got control of Shay's wrist. Yeah, he's got. Has he got? Oh. He's got back. He's gone back to the back mount. He's got and both hooks in. Is that a half Nelson? Yeah, no, no, it's not. It's just he just pulled he's him got, over. Yeah, he's got like got a Khabib. Ingram's got hold of his wrist, hasn't he, rather than the other yeah. way around. If he can land some heavy strikes here, though. And back of the head, though. It looks like they go to the side. Oh, he settled in a little bit of a short choke. Nope, not him. He rolled through it there, didn't he? Didn't let him get a chance to grab it. 
Oh, <laughs> I don't think anyone heard didn't that 10 second the, clapper. No, I didn't hear the 10 second clapper. That would be close to a 10 8 round for me. Uh, he come close a few times with the ground and pound. Yeah, uh, I mean, um, I like Shay's set up to the back at the start. Did a look the yeah, it was an unusual take down, wasn't it? Yeah. What you know Very uh, Andy Valera from um, 10 Planet in Vegas. I see to see what their team's all doing at the moment. But yeah. Both teams have got really good corners. You've got Joy Herbert and Fabian in the Renegade corner. Yeah. And then you've got Paul Kelly Bordley. and Bordley. Some real veterans there. Yeah. Bordley, of course, in the UFC all those years ago. Had the famous win over uh, the Yamamoto. Oh, yeah. The kid. And then you've got Joy Herbert, current UFC, and yeah. Bellator slash PFL. Yeah, Fabian's just Fabian. fought for the championship, didn't he? Uh, he's going to fight in... Three weeks? Oh, we see fighting in three weeks? Yeah, Dublin, I think. Belfast. But Dublin or Belfast? Dublin, Dublin, yeah. Back to the action. I think we've got more of the same from Ingram. Yeah. Nice, nice in and out there. There oh, you go. Oh, beautifully it. timed. That's how you make them pay, isn't it? When they throw something they shouldn't throw. Yes, and he's gone straight to the short choke. Oh, no, hand fighting. Contact. Straight to the back, yeah. Straight to the back. Um, so I want to make sure it doesn't come off the top. And Jake's done the correct thing. Uh, to try and posture up and out of it. Fight in the hands. Is he going to get a body triangle? No, holding, holding the gloves. <laughs> He's just telling them to keep going though, isn't he? Just keep working. So you having a cheeky look up at the referee though, making sure that the referee's aware of that grab glove. Grab glove? Grab. Jesus, yeah. dyslexia at his best. <laughs> Bit of rabbit punching there from both. No real force in any of them, I think. More of an annoyance rather than, a, than damaging blows. Yeah. Onto the body triangle. Yeah, he's got a uh, good control there. He needs to maybe try and roll the other way and put the pressure on the hold and see if he can break that grip. I mean, he's being completely controlled at the minute. His main, he needs to he needs to turn this around really. He's gonna find himself two rounds down if he doesn't get out of this position very soon. Tech's got a, a very small torso compared to Shea, so um, that body triangle will be a lot easier to lock up. Is he gonna go for there? He's looking at electric there. Is he trying to trap the arm? Is he gonna yeah, was he trying to trap the arm actually he's gonna go for an arm bar or Body triangle is so hard to escape. There's like such minimalistic techniques to be able to escape them. Yeah. Oh, some heel kicks to the. They're not nice, are they? Back to the body triangle as well. Gives him something to think about when he's working for that choke. Yeah, because you're probably trying to get him to bring his hands down, so then he releases the hands to go yeah, for the, that's that, it. that choke. And he can either trap the arm or that's what he's trying to trap the arm look. So he's now got one arm trapped. Yeah. So now he can sink in for that choke. He should try and hide his foot a little bit better behind the foot. Yeah, behind the butt, sorry. To keep that arm trapped. Got a beautiful view here. Yeah, he's very much in control here. He's working. We've got to be careful going near the eyes there. He's covering the mouth, though, isn't that what Covering the mouth to make him take a deep breath when he tightens that triangle as he goes that uh, body oh, triangle. Is that as what he's good uh, it for? Yeah. Makes it even more uncomfortable. But Check's doing a good job to keep uh, Shea active, though. Like, he's making uh, Shea really work for this position. Like, it's he's not just sinking in his short chokes or anything like that. Shea looks quite happy there, smiling yeah. up at the, at the ref. Smiling at the camera. Time. That 10 second clacker is not We're not clackering. hearing that, are we? <laughs> Two rounds in the bag for Ingram, though. He looks very good. Uh, and that takedown come off that crazy spin kick, really. A, a move he didn't really need to do. He's ended up putting himself in a vulnerable position. Yeah. I remember the, the amateur days of myself just doing stupid decisions for no reason. Like, just doing things that you you think might work for that split second. And often just basics are the ones that win the fight. Yeah. As daft as it sounds. Yeah. I always keep getting told, um, boring things uh, but but the boring things are the intelligent things because at the end of the day uh, paycheck is a paycheck yeah 
Yeah, if, you, if you're going to go out there and, and, and do flamboyant stuff and lose, you're not going to get very far, are you, unfortunately? No, exactly. And Shay wants a big career. I mean, he's doing, like, both of them, I guess, want to go into a big career, such as, like, Bellator, PFL, UFC. Yeah. So staying safe at amateur and not getting any damage at this point is the best way to go. Straight in for the takedown there, drive up against the cage. He's got his arms hooked. Oh. Is he, can he get him up? No, he's risen Slipping up a little up. bit, a little bit, yeah. Shea got that, uh, Shea got that actually real good um, underhook. He shifted him up. Oh, beautiful kick. He looks very, exp oh, it's a that nice a combination bit. from both from there. Shea caught that kick, run Both's the pipe. Second time he's been taken down with a kick. Run the pipe into a butterfly, butterfly guard. Butterfly, yeah. Let's see what England can do to advance his position. He's been advanced, he's been in some really good positions during this fight. Mm -hmm. Now he's on top. So check just making Shea work, I guess, a little bit right now. Getting ready to explode, potentially. Yeah, he needs to try and get him off, though, doesn't he? He can't just stay in that position for, 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 for very long. He's already, he's already two rounds down. He doesn't want to go a third round down. No, Shea trying to pass that knee to the right. Once he clears that knee over the top of it with his own leg, then he should be able to pass into half guard, then mount. What does uh, Main need to do here, do you think? Uh, personally, get his butterflies in, um, kick Shea back and sit him up so he can get his underhooks Fine. at the moment. Or potentially use his left underhook to shunt Shea up to get onto his knees. Yeah, at the moment, he's just kind of holding him on top of him. Which is, again, it's a very defensive thing to do, isn't it? So what all he's doing really is holding and hoping the ref's going to stand him up. But that's not yes. the best way to get yourself back to your feet, is uh, it? Not when you're two rounds down. No, he needs to try and be a bit more proactive. You're almost preying on the ref to rescue you. But Shea is moving around quite a bit and he is staying active. Even though he's not advancing his position, he is, he is moving and staying active, which is less he's likely not. to get the, the stand up. There are heavy shots there. But check right now to get his butterflies back in, start to try and elevate Shea, try and like sit him back so he's on his butt. Yeah, get try, those and try and create a little bit of space. Just get him off, even if just get him off balance a little bit. Exactly, or even use the cage right now to get off. He's yeah. shuffled far enough back, like wall walk. So he's got, he's gone past one now. He's got half, he's got one butterfly in. Again, as the fight's going on, Shea's just getting stronger and stronger. He's just having his own way with it now, isn't he? That's what starts to happen, you start to feel like your opponent's sort of breaking that yeah. little bit by little bit. You've already found your groove, you already know kind of where you want the fight to be. I mean, they both look quite explosive on the feet, but when it's gone to the ground, it's literally been all Shea Ingram. Yeah. There's some heavy strikes there as well. Straight oh, past the legs the as well. Oh, Straight into side control. Gonna should circle him, Shea should circle him up away from the cage right now. Oh, he's going over. He's going over. Way. Is he gonna, what's he working for? The um, end of the round. That but clacker is definitely not clackering. No, they're not doing it right, are they? And they're not, <laughs> didn't he, we didn't have, the, we haven't got the clock on here, so we can't see how long he's left when it's towards the end of the round. Shea's three rounds up, though. He's looking very good. He is looking very good. I mean, check doesn't look like he doesn't know, like, on the feet, he's doing, he, he is doing very well. Just Shea's setting up those takedowns just really, yeah. really nicely. At the moment, uh, Czech looks explosive on the feet. He looks like he's capable of landing something big. But if he doesn't and it goes to the ground, it's, it's all Shea Ingram. Yes. It's very one-sided on the ground. I mean, even like when we were talking there about the stuff Czech needs to be doing to, to change position, he's not doing any of it. All he's doing is basically trying to lock Shea down. But it's not, it's not enough. No, exactly. And as we said, like holding him down when you're already rounds down, then it's not what you want to be doing. You want to be posturing, framing getting those hooks in, fighting for your underhooks, whatever you can, you just don't want to be on the bottom, you can't, especially yeah. in MMA. He's certainly, he's, yeah, we you were know, saying it on, it's different with jiu-jitsu, because you can be on the bottom and you can be looking for stuff and we'll still win a jiu-jitsu fight, but if you're in the bottom in MMA, in most cases, unless you're a real specialist, you're losing. Exactly. Shea closes the distance straight away. Got into a bit of a war. Some nice strikes from both of them. Shea, uh, Czech's got some really beautiful kicks, like yeah. they're very snappy, but he's... <laughs> he's very, he looks very explosive, he looks very powerful. <laughs> Shea looks very comfortable though. He's talking to him. Talking to him, chatting shit. Breaking his spirit. He's telling him to give up. Try and hear what he's saying.
trying to go quiet, so Melissa can hear what he's saying. He's he is right literally trying to shit into his mouth. He's talking to him and telling him to quit up. As he's, he's telling him, him to show him something. He's punching him in the face as he's telling him to show him something, and he's just landing hammer fist. There you go. And check is holding on to him again, so he needs to try and get his frames back in. He tries needs to try and get his underhook or his wall. And now he's screaming in his face and using that chin to right, rub into Chuck's face. Yeah, horrible, horrible position, having a chin in your face like that. Chin in the eye, as they say. Chet needs to move, Chet needs to show some new looks because that referee is looking him very closely right now. <laughs> Shea's enjoying himself. Shea is right in the, the crowd. Right in the crowd. Talking to Melissa as well, his teammate. <laughs> Chet needs to move, big, Chet, let's go, big. he needs Give to move, show him something. Could be the beginning of the end here for Shea if he can up the ante. Let's go, Shea. Shea's talking to Melissa as he's let's landing go, the ground Shea. and pound. <laughs> this could be the beginning of the end. Referee's he's looking gonna at the stop ref, it, referee's the referee's stopped it. Shea's defended his bout. Very, Shea's very defended good. his bout. And that is, do you know what, that is freaking MMA right there. The way, like, Shea just chat shit that a whole round into checks here and at the end of the session they just went yeah. that was a fucking fight like that that is MMA and nice that's why over. both of these guys are going to do very well yeah one of the things I love about MMA is the respect you get shown by the fighters after a fight one of the things I like to see yes 100% that was a really good fight very good fight pleasure to call it with you thank you <laughs> uh, I guess we'll hand it over to the MC Ladies and gentlemen, your winner as a result of a TKO due to ground and pound. Coming one minute and 51 seconds in to round number four. And still, the golden ticket lightweight champion, she And give it up for his opponent, Jake Money. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Shay is very eager for me to announce he is a two time, two weight division champion. It's Shay Ingram. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm joined by your winner, two division champion, Shay Ingram. Now, Shay, you went up against a very dangerous opponent there, Jay Mane, and you just breezed through him. Phenomenal performance from start to finish. Tell us how you're feeling. I'm feeling amazing. Well, I took two shots in there. I took a leg kick, and he kicked me in the arm. That was about it. Got some good shots off the bottom, but well, like I told him in the corner, he's not going to get up like that. You know what I mean? So. Thank you, thank you to him. Very good opponent. Maybe get up in the morning, maybe work hard. Thanks so much. Now, you were having fun in there, weren't you? I mean, in that fourth round, you were talking to us in the commentary booth. You were joining in with your fans in the chanting your name. Did you know by that point it was just a matter of time until you found the finish? As soon as he started wrapping my arms while he was on the bottom, I knew it was done. I knew he didn't want to get back up. He didn't want to try to get back up. And I heard him, he, he was sucked, he was sucked. I'm getting to that, John, but thank you to all my fans that come out. All 85 of you. I think I'll bring the whole of Worcester there with all of us. Thank you so much. Meet the world. Also, I'd like to dedicate this fight to my, uh, my uncle who passed away last year. 
And uh, my nan, who um, passed away late last year, I, I dedicate this fight and all what I'm doing to, um, to both of them as well. Thank you. And uh, I miss them so much. Perfect record, two-way champion. Is it time to move to pro, do you think? Uh, well, what do you say? What my coaches say, I suppose. Well, they're all nodding their heads there, but also, I'd like to take a big thank you to all my coaches. Henry, John, Joy, Fabian, Leon, Tom, Mush, Johnny, Jack, the combat dietitian, everyone. If I've missed you, I'm so sorry, but everyone, your walk don't go unseen anywhere, honestly. Thank you, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up one more time for your winner, phenomenal performance, Shay Ingram. Also, if you want to wrestle like that, call fit on a Tuesday. What is it? Is it 6.15 to 7.15 adults? 5.15 to 6.15 for the kids. If you want to wrestle like that, come down. Thank you very much.